Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to be working with Winter Woods again and the coordinating in the woods framelits. 10% um, discount if you get them both together as a bundle at the moment, which is a fantastic saving. And we are going to be using the lovely Christmas tree on here and we are going to be using the coordinating framelit. Um, and that's really all we need for this project because we're going to make a pretty little hanging ornament. Um, now, I have made one which I'm just going to um, clip from here. Um, so it's going to be a little hanging ornament like this, which you probably can't see on the camera that way, but basically it is a hanging ornament. Now, I've done this one just with four. Um, but we're going to do one today with six. So as I say, pretty little thing to hang on the tree um, and um, really simple and easy to make. So let's get started on it. What we need to do is we need to stamp and cut out with the die six of the tree images. And we are then going to take the... Um, the reverse side, no, sorry, the front facing side and we are literally just going to bend it slightly to just start to manipulate the fibres and then we're going to start at the bottom and we are going to line up the bottom branch and then just very carefully they don't exactly match, but that doesn't matter. We just need a centre line. Now, if you're very good at scoring to try and get into this tiny little piece at the top, you could do it on the scoreboard. However, I found that it was easier to do it this way. So just manipulate it with your fingers. Then take your bone folder and give it a good crease off on both sides and then put it to one side. So let's do another one. So front facing, I work from the bottom end first because it's easier. Just bend and manipulate your paper to start off with so you get the rough sort of um, curve. Then starting at the bottom, literally just work your way through, lining it up with the points on the tree until you get to the top piece then very carefully just squishing down that little top piece and then just gently bend it across and then run it across with your finger first then take your bone folder and give it a good crease on both sides okay so i have done six of these and then what we need to do is we need to put them together. So I'm going to bring the other ones in that I've got. Um, and I've already done one. So what we need, we need to do is we need to work out where we're going to put it. So this one is going to go on there. So we need to just take some wet glue. And make sure that you're gluing right the way up to the seam. So where the fold is, because you want that to be nice and straight. And then just run the glue down each one of the points of the tree. Up into that top piece and across. And then literally just line it up. Um, wet glue is really good for this because you're going to get enough wiggle room. So you just want to line it up to where it comes on the point have a look on both sides so you can get it as evenly as you can and at the bottom as well make sure that that's as even as you can and then just fold it across and press it down so that the glue folds so now we've got four on there and we're going to do exactly the same with the next one so let's just get the Tombow now, this idea, um, a few years ago, we had a beautiful um, stamp set and coordinating die, which was hanging baubles. And I made lots of ornaments with the hanging baubles, doing exactly the same sort of thing, just sort of bending them in half. And so 
when I was looking at the tree the other day I thought you know what I'm sure I can do a hanging ornament with it so I had a little play and yes you can so um, it's really quite good so again just try and move it down so that you before your glue sets so that you've got these pieces as sort of straight as you possibly can on there and again just fold it across and now you've got another one it reminds me of the uh, um, the hanging ornaments that we used to do as children um, that we would make things up and you'd open them up and then you could hang them on the tree so we have um, we need to do another two on here so let's get this one glue it up again as I say it's important to make sure that you have your seam glued well so that then when you're hanging it up it doesn't um, start to come apart so as long as you've got that seam well glued up and then as I say we're going to take the next piece and just literally lining it up with the bottom first because they're the biggest of the branches and then it almost literally just pops into each other quite easily to just line it up and then take the top piece just move it across into that piece there and again make sure that that's as straight as you can and just fold it across and then it will glue in now the last piece we are going to be gluing it on both sides so just literally glue it up to the point um, and the fun starts afterwards in decorating it because exactly the same as when you decorate your own tree you can decorate it and tone it in in whatever colors you want um, I did um, the first little one which was my sample I cut out um, a whole pile of little hearts from the Jar of Love um, coordinating die because there's a lovely um, little row of hearts that you can cut out and they're great for using tiny weeny scraps of paper and as I was saying to you um, the other day with the Joyous Noel glimmer paper um, I try and use every little tiny scrap and these are perfect because you can cut out tiny little stars and then you're not wasting any of that lovely paper okay so this one we need to put it, um, it the best way is to try and put it into the seam first and to then work on one side and then just open it up so that you've got it lined up at the bottom first I'm trying to do this on a bit of an angle so you can see but just run it up on that side run it up on that side and then just press it together so now we have a lovely six fold tree like this so you can see you've got six pieces of the tree and when you hang it up you've got so, uh, as I say a lovely tree ornament now to get the um, the little hole in the top what I did was before I sort of went any further and um, it's quite difficult you if you get your crocodile um, depending whether it will go through all of the layers which I think it will just go through you need to just take it in and then give it a really good squeeze so I'm going to take it off camera because I need to give it a really really good squeeze and I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get through all of these layers this time um, I could get it through four quite easily but this this one is quite old so we'll just have a look and see how far it's come through whether it's come through any of them or not um, have we got it through um, got it through this one so I'm just gonna poke this out um, basically you're just going to make a little hole in here this is this crocodile that I've got um, or my hole punch rather is actually very very old it belonged to my late mother and she used to do a lot of um, leather work so it's not the sharpest anymore if you have a sharp one it should be relatively easy says me heaving away off off camera to try and get this little hole in um, and it was easy to do it on four it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get it through on um, 
on these ones like this. Right, I'm going to do it another way. Um, let me take a little piece of foam and we are going to take a hole through this way. So I'm using my pokey tool and just running a hole right the way through like that. Um, as I say, you should be able to do it with your crocodile fairly easily, but I'm just taking it through on there so I can turn round and um, you could always do it actually before you put any of the pieces together, you could make your hole through. But basically all we need is just a little hole through the center that is going to hang our little piece of ribbon or twine so just taking it through on here I'm just folding them across so we can take it right through this pokey tool is actually really very good because you can get it right the way through um, but yes I will probably on the next one just put it through oh, that's a nice big hole through there now right okay so we're then going to, it says me putting the lid of my uh, pokey tool on, or my take your pick tool on my glue. So we are then going to take a little piece of twine. Now you can use whatever twine you want. Um, I've got some which is left over from last year, which um, is garden green, so matches this. Um, twine is probably better than ribbon. Um, and you're just going to put um, a little bit of twine through see if I can get it through this hole uh, let's take the pokey tool out again or take your pick tool keep calling it a pokey tool because I'm using that end quite a lot at the moment so we're just going to feed that through like that have I fed it through no not very well have I um, right we're going to get through there this time Fine on that bit. Let me just open up this end that side so we can just get that through. Make my end a little bit more pointy. Um, as I say, you can um, put ribbon through it if you want to. Um, I'm just putting a little bit of twine if I can get it through. The normal thing on camera, ah, oh, here we go, right. Got my little end, that's it. Um, and I am going to, I'm just literally doing this as an example. So let's just cut that off at the end. Okay. And then obviously you just need to move out your branches like this. So you've got it sort of level in your threes. Um, you could do it as many as you want. Actually, you could do, um, this is six. You could do eight. You could do 12, um, as many as you want, but then you have a very pretty, says me, can I like rotate it on its corner, a very pretty little hanging ornament. Um, and let me bring the first one back in again for you. So I've got this one, which is just done with four. So you can see with four. And as I say, that's the, uh, the glimmer paper. I just decorated it that way. You can go to town and decorate it however you want to. I'm not going to show you that. Um, it's down to you and your choice of what you want to do. But a fun little ornament to hang on the Christmas tree using the winter woods and the in the wood framelits. Um, so thank you so much for watching me and look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.